Wow, take a look at this. 1947 Chevrolet half ton panel truck. And uh, this is absolutely amazing. Not quite sure where to even start on this one. Uh, probably with what's under the hood. Uh, this has a Chevy crate 572 engine underneath there, which we'll open it up a little bit later and I can show you. We're going to fire it up and everything else. But a 620 horse. It is paired with a four-speed transmission, so it does have overdrive in it. This car slash truck panel is made to cruise. Uh, it's actually been on two power tours. Uh, one from Detroit, Michigan, Proving Grounds, GM, down to Arlington, Texas. Another one was from Newton, Iowa, to Mobile, Alabama. So that's where it's got the majority of the 5,000 miles that have been put on it since the engine was built. Um, it has about a total of 15,000 on it since uh, this project was started and then finished. It's riding on Panther wheels and it does have, you can see wheel wood brakes up here in the front, so it does have rotors, four corners, does have power brakes. And like I said, rotors on all four corners. Also has power steering, obviously power brakes we just talked about, and then AC also. So it has the amenities to go down the road and, and enjoy it also. Uh, this is a custom paint on here and you can see it changes as we move around a little bit can kind of go to the blues, aquas, a little bit of purples. What that is, it's a custom paint that you don't exactly see every day. Um, Cosmochrome is I believe what you call this. And uh, you can check it out, read the description on the vehicle. Uh, this panel, obviously back in the day, a ton of these were bread trucks. So that's where the theme of this one came from. Lots of dough bread company, which is also a big pun, obviously, in the amount of dough and money that was put into this thing. It is all steel. It just finished absolutely beautiful. I uh, did have a backup camera set up back here, was never hooked up, has not been hooked up, but if you wanted to finish it off in the front, it's got the camera built in back there, a little easier for backing up and moving around. The orange on this is absolutely beautiful. I don't know if the cameras or the pictures really do this thing justice, but you can see the reflection from the windows. Very, very nice vehicle. There's so much I don't know if I'm remembering to tell everything about it. Classic industry gauges on the inside. Uh, vintage air, tack. The interior of this also carries on the Lots of Dough Bread Company logo and look. Let's go ahead and open this up so you can see the interior of it. Bucket seats up front, does have an eight way power driver seat. If you take a look in the back, if you can make that out, it's got the custom flame inserts with a loaf of bread sliced in there, so it carries on that Lots of Dough theme on the inside. Other than that, open back there, but finished off very nicely. Center console, bucket seats, does have cruise control, vintage air like we said earlier, all the modern gauges. Let's go ahead and fire this up. You can hear this one is a beast. idle down and see if I can open the hood and hold the camera at the same time here just so you can hear this thing run. It is absolutely incredible. Like I said, it, it's made to drive, made for the street, runs on pump gas. Here's what's under the hood to get this done quick so it doesn't load up on us. It's made to get out and run. There's that 572 Chevy Crate engine. All the amenities underneath here. Just absolutely incredible. 620 horse. Little radiator fan. Finished off very nice under the hood. If you have any questions about this vehicle, feel free to give us a call. 
1726 because I'm sure there's something I'm forgetting on this uh, video. Check out the description we also have of it at our website. You can see the underside pictures, interior, uniqueclassiccars.com. If you'd like to inquire, this 1947 half ton panel truck. Beautiful Chevy. You won't see yourself uh, going down the road if you're driving this. You won't see another one like a passenger.